At the 1985 Michigan Farm Bureau annual meeting, delegates passed a resolution to form a Women's State Study Committee. About 30 years ago, we saw a decline in the participation of women in the women's program, partially because women were actively involved on the farm and had other jobs off the farm. So we were looking at what does Farm Bureau need in order to continue and provide a place for people that want to be involved. We formed a committee of people from across the state to examine what was needed in Farm Bureau. In his welcoming comments to the committee, President Elton R. Smith said, our major concern should be whether or not we are serving the membership well and whether this program is helping to maintain and increase our members' participation. If not, then we should evaluate the alternatives. The committee came to the conclusion that we really needed a promotion and education committee that promoted agriculture and informed the public because fewer and fewer people were directly involved with a farm. We were struggling because the women were not able to come to meetings uh, on a regular basis. They would rather do a project, and that would be what they were active in, something to serve the organization. Maybe once a year be involved in something, but not as a regular meeting just for fellowship. So as we dealt with this, we could see that uh, this was a better way for the organization to go. And our husbands had always been involved with us as we would make them help us with projects. So why not make them an integral part of the committee structure itself? In 1986, the nation's first state promotion and education committee was formed, creating the framework for today's programs and events. We looked at what our goal was as a committee, and we wanted to bring agriculture to communities and to schools, and we looked at creating curriculum that could be used in the schools. We looked at what could we do across the state that would tell our story. You guys ever heard of soybeans? Yeah. Project Red was initiated by Farm Bureau. We looked at programs that would bring third grade students into a particular area and Farm Bureau helped coordinate the effort to have other ag businesses and ag related service industries involved so that children could learn the story of agriculture. For 25 years, Michigan Farm Bureau Promotion and Education has led the way by educating and motivating members and providing the tools for educators and volunteers to tell the story of agriculture. The value that promotion and education brings to Farm Bureau is our ability to work together and cooperate as well as uh, the dedication that one has when they're involved in these activities. It takes a lot of time and effort and dedication to promote our industry, not necessarily our individual farms, but it's that dedication to promote farming and our agricultural industry. And it, and it brings us together in a cooperative manner and that really helps to achieve that goal at the end of the day that we're educating consumers about farming. Well, I think the value of the of the committee to the organization is it helps make the connection and we continue to need to make a connection between the consumers and the producers. And I think that's something that long term we'll never be able to get away from. And that's not a bad thing, it's just something that has to continue to evolve. And one of the things that we need to work on in that is to be able to communicate with people effectively in terms that they understand. Not the terms that we understand, but the terms that they understand, because sometimes there's a very large disconnect in how those terms are interpreted. I'm glad to be from a state that has embraced promotion and education activities for the last 25 years.